Haste. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Haste here with a guide on how to find all the newt altars in Risk of Rain 2. I'll leave a timestamp in the description for those of you that want to jump to a certain map, and let's get into it. The first map is Titanic Plains 1, and the first newt altar location is going to be in the corner on this ledge just below the bridge by the cliffside, right here. As we travel to the second location, you kind of see that some of these altars are hard to get to if you're not playing a mobile survivor, so you may have to wait until you get a couple mobility items such as hopu feathers to get to these other altars. So the second location of the altar is going to be on the lowest ledge of the giant stone arch hanging over the middle of the map. It'll usually spawn right about here, and then you can almost see the third location right there. The last location is going to be on that small plateau in the corner of the map. You're going to have to double jump to get up to it, so make sure that you can access up this platform. And then you'll see that all three locations are right there, there, and there. Alright, the second map is Titanic Plains 2, or the alternate version of this map. The first location is going to be right here behind the last arch. Luckily, I got to spawn right next to it, but yep, it'll be right here. Moving on to the second location, you're going to have to climb all the way to the top of this small mountain and then reach the very top of the smaller plateau. As you can see once again, you'll need some vertical mobility to reach the very top. Using Mercenary makes this very easy since he has like three vertical jumps. But if you aren't playing him, then you're just going to have to find out how to get to the top somehow. Once you get to the very top, you'll find that the altar is right below this small arch. And for the last new altar, you can kind of see it already on the top of this last arch. I don't know why they would put it up here, but you'll definitely need some items to get to it if you aren't playing a big mobility class. The three locations are going to be here, here, and all the way up here. Next on the list is Distant Roost 1. The first location is going to be all the way on the ground level, right under this bridge. Uh, not this one, but the smaller one, right here. And then you'll see the altar right there. And then heading around this corner to the second location, you'll either see that this gate will be open or closed. If it is closed, you'll need to face through the gap on the left with a blink skill. Mercenary's utility skills will do it. And then you just have to jump through like so. And the altar will be on the left by the ledge. Right over here. To get back through the gate, you just have to do the same thing that you did to get in and blink right out through that small little gap. The last location is on the stone arch at the top of the ramp in the cave. I actually should have went to the right, but I'm taking the long route here, and not this arch, but to the right around the corner, you're gonna see a, another stone arch right over here, and then at the very top, you're gonna see the nude altar. So let me just kill some of these enemies and get up to the top and the altar will be right over here in the corner there the next map is the alternate to distant roost and the first altar is going to be on a ledge below this small gap in the map right over here it'll be on that small little cliff and you'll have to drop down to get to it if you can't get back up, just fall off the map and you'll respawn back up on the cliff. On to the second altar, you'll have to cross this bridge to the island. Sometimes this bridge spawns and sometimes it doesn't. So if it doesn't spawn, you'll just have to jump across. Uh, you'll definitely need some items to get there. Uh, the altar is going to spawn on the very back of the island behind this rock. Let me just show it. right over here and the third location is going to be behind this gate once again if it's closed you're gonna to have to phase through it but it'll be behind the pillar in the back luckily 
the gate is open so I can just run right through and heading to the back of the map you're gonna see the altar right over here the first map of stage 2 is wetland aspects and arguably the worst map because I can never find the <coughs> teleport at this stage there is gonna be three new altar locations and none of them are guaranteed but the first will be at the top of this cliff overseeing the map and it will be behind this rock right over here. The second location is going to be on top of the pillar in the middle of the map. And the third is going to be behind this wall in the corner underneath the small pool underwater. Right over here. The second map of the second stage is Abandoned Aqueducts, and there are three altars on this map with one being guaranteed. The first altar is on the small cliff in the open desert area, right over here. As I was saying earlier, one of the altars is guaranteed on this map, which means that no matter what, it will always spawn, so getting this map makes it a lot easier to get to the bazaar and get those lunar items. Yes, 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 yes. So follow this pathway on the edge of the map that's gated off by the ropes and it'll take you to the top of the snake's head in the middle of the map. Be careful not to run past those ropes because that part of the map is out of bounds and you will take damage for being outside. At the very top, you'll see that the altar is right here and it's very easy to get to. The third altar is at the back of the map at the top of the last aqueduct wall. There is no ramp that takes you up here so you'll have to jump up on the wall yourself. But following the path up here to the very last peg, you'll see that the altar will be right over here. Right there. The third stage is Scorched Acres, and the first altar is located at the very top of this mountain, usually in the back right around here. Maybe, yeah, right around here. In this area. The second altar is going to be in the leftmost ledge behind the wall of the lowest circular island. Let's see if I can make this jump across. Reconnect! Well, it's going to be right over here. So the second altar and the first altar will be here. And right around here. And the third altar is going to be at the very end of this path, all the way on the top of this out of bounds mountaintop area. Getting here needs a lot of mobility, as you can see, and I have no idea why they put an altar here, because monsters don't really spawn up here either. But if you follow this path all the way at the top, you're going to see the new altar. Right over here. The next stage is Rally Point Delta, and there are three new altars on this map, with one being guaranteed. The first altar will be on the beach line in the back of the last tree. So if we head towards the beach and go to the left, there are two trees. Behind the farthest one, you'll see that the new altar will be right behind it. Right over here. The second altar is going to be behind a rock near the containers. So heading off the beach to the middle-ish part of the map, you'll see a bunch of big rocks. And behind the last one, in the corner, is the new altar. So let me just jump there. And it should be right over... here. So, giving a better point of view on the map, the first altar is right here. The second one, right here. And the third one will be all the way up here, where the big crate is. Now the third altar is a guaranteed spawn, and getting up here is going to be hard if you're not loader, but the altar is right on this mountain, and it'll always spawn here. Yeah, trust me, I've tried getting up here as mercenary, and I don't think there's a way unless someone else can show me. So leave a comment below if you know any other way to get up here. Next on our list is Stage 4, Siren's Call. There's a total of three nude altars on this map, and the first altar is going to be on top of the hanging crate in the middle of the map right over there. The easiest way to get up to this part is to jump down from the top of the cliff onto the crate. 
The good thing about this map is that you can get to the top of the mountain without needing any mobility items. There's a geyser at the bottom that'll push you up here. And right down here is the new altar. Onto the second altar, it's going to be all the way in the back of the map behind that stone arch. Fun fact, this is also where the alloy warship spawns when you break the eggs. So running to the back right here where these mushrooms are, you'll see the altar. The third and final altar is going to be on the inside of the cave on the right of the entrance. Head up the ramp and along the wall down here you'll see the altar. Super weird spot, but uh yeah. The next map will be Abyssal Depths. The first altar is going to be on the top of the crystal that's hanging from a chain in the middle of the map. The best way to get there is to take the geysers up to the platform where you unlock Rex and then jump onto the crystal. So right over there, you'll see that there's a crystal hanging from the chain. Should be the only one accessible. And then jumping onto it, the altar will be right in the middle. The second altar is going to be hidden inside the cave under some crystals. The cave has two entrances and the doors will sometimes be closed like it is now. The back entrance has a gap in the middle that you can phase through. I don't know if this was intended or not, but for now, this is the only way through those closed doors. And since this is the back entrance, just run through the tunnel until you reach the main part and the altar is under the crystals here. To exit, we'll head towards the main entrance and on top, you can phase through the gap. The third altar is right above the main entrance that we just exited from and is tucked away in the back corner. If we just jump across and run towards the back, you'll see that the altar is in the very right corner, right over here. Alright, the last map and newest one added at stage 6 is Sky Meadows. This map has 5 altars, the most on any map, and is understandable since this map is friggin huge. But the first altar is going to be on this upper platform behind the broken wall, right over here. The second altar is near the floor door that leads to the artifact teleporter. It'll be over here on the edge of the rim. Let me just get a better view over here. And if we look towards the corner by the wall, you'll see the altar right over here. The third altar is on this big slope tucked under the rock in the center of the map. Just follow the rocks up here and you'll see that the altar is right under this corner. Here's a better view of how the slope rock combination looks like and it has this pillar that's sticking out on it. The fourth altar is going to be in the corner by the other floor door that goes to the artifact teleporter. So once you found the door, head towards the edge and look at the big boulder. Right below it, you'll see the altar. Right over here. The fifth and last altar on this map is going to be in the corner under the bridge. If you remember how this big sloped rock looks like, you'll know that the altar is under it. But right around this bridge and in the corner, the altar will be right over here. So those are all the locations of all the newt altars currently in Risk of Rain 2. Let me know if you guys like these guide videos and want more. Uh, remember to subscribe for more content, yada yada, peace out.